Bible also teaches to prostrate face to the ground in prayers. Genesis 17.3 At this, Abraham fell face down to the ground, then God talked with him. Numbers 20, number 6 Moses and Aaron fell on their faces, and the glory of the Lord appeared to them. 2 Chronicles 7.3 They bowed down with their faces to the ground on the pavement and worshipped. Nahmiah 8.6 Ezra praised the Lord, the great God, and all the people lifted their hands and responded, Amen, Amen. Then they bowed down and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. Psalm 95.6 Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. Judges 13.20 When Manuch and his wife saw this, they fell on their faces to the ground. 1 Kings 18.39 when all of the people saw this, they fell prostrate and cried, The Lord, He is God, the Lord, He is God. Ezekiel 9.8 And I fell on my face and cried out. 1 Samuel 20.41 David got up from the south side of the stone and bowed down before Jonathan three times with his face to the ground. Joshua 5.14 And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship. Genesis 24.52 when Abraham's servant heard what they say, he bowed down to the ground before the Lord. But you will tell me that these are all verses from the Old Testament. What about Jesus? Check this out. Matthew 26, 39. Going a little further, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it's possible, may this cup be taken from me, not yet as I will, but as you will. For your information, this part, yet not as I will, but as you will, is literally the definition of Islam. Islam is not a name of a religion. Islam is simply an Arabic word that means you acquire peace by giving up your will and submitting your will to God. Not as I will, but as you will. This is why you hear Muslims all the time saying that Jesus was a Muslim. Because Islam is not a religion name. Islam is simply submitting your will to God, which he clearly did in this verse after praying the only way God ordered every prophet to pray. But what about the disciples? Check this out. Matthew 17.6 when the disciples heard this, they fell face down to the ground. And last but not least, angels. Revelation 7.11 All the angels were standing around the throne. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshipped God. Even the angels are praying this way. All the prophets in the Bible prayed the same way exactly, and that includes Jesus and his disciples. Artos is an independent Orthodox state in Greece which hasn't changed for over a thousand years. Over a thousand years, monks practice the monastic lifestyle. There are no women allowed. There are only men for over thousands of years and they practice true Christian Orthodoxy over there. However, when I visited and lived in the monastery, I saw some monks bowing down to their knees with their forehead on the floor. And I thought back then, wow, this is really how the Muslims pray. And those guys haven't changed their ways for over a thousand years. So apparently, this is how we all prayed back in the day, no matter if we were Christians, Muslims, or Jews. People chosen by God to be prophets are the best people. And us not praying like them is illogical and arrogant. 